Hey, this is Glennon Cameron. Welcome to the second edition of the Business Advice Show. We've got Pinup Girls, Public Domain Right Books, Life Coaches, People Who Know How to Get Traffic, and Someone Who Wrote a Serious Book. Check it out. Welcome to the Hustlers Kung Fu Show. You've got a question? Call 404-558-811. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365. Leave your name. Uh, you can leave your number at the end and ask specific questions. And if your question is hot enough, I'll call you back. If it's something I feel that a lot of people have an issue with or need help with, I'll do a video. And thanks for watching and thanks for the call. Hello, <clears throat> hello, Glendon. This is Brian Benjamin calling you from New York. My toast. <clears throat> I have been watching your videos now at the suggestion of a very good friend for about 20 months. I've found them to be immensely helpful. Um, I'm trying to make my way. I'm trying to turn myself into a person that makes money on the internet. So far, I'm not there. Uh, I had commented on uh, one of a couple of your live events. I'm the guy who uh, was building the pinup YouTube channel. Uh, incidentally, uh, YouTube shut the channel down. Um, now, the issue with that was I had started that channel with public domain movies, and I started getting dinged right away. And I kept I was providing proof that they were in fact public domain movies. Some of them go back to like the 1950s, even the 1940s, and they were like, "Well, okay, you provided the proof; it's public domain. So what? We're going to let you keep the ding." Um, so that channel currently is, I guess you would call it, suspended. Uh, I'm appealing that. We'll see how that goes. I have another channel that's up more or less on the same theme. Um, I also have, I bought the rights to a bundle of ebooks. Now, the pinup material that I have is almost exclusively uh, either created by myself or created by artists that I hire. So um, the, the whole copyright thing is, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, um, so. Um, I was due to get a payment from YouTube from uh, the YouTube channel with the two million views of about a hundred and seventy dollars. I don't know what's up with that since the channel suspended. I have a query in on that. Um, I have, with the bundle of ebooks that I the rights that I purchased, uh, I made like three sales on that. Not much money at all, but you know better than nothing. Um, and. That's kind of it. I tried eBay, never was able to get anything going on eBay. I tried Amazon, never was able to get anything going with that. Uh, I should also tell you that um, both of my parents were ill, so I was um, splitting my time between trying to do the internet, trying to work, and um, being like a caregiver for my parents. So it was, uh, you, you, I guess one could say that my efforts were not terribly clearly focused. Um, my father passed a few years ago. My mother just passed on Saturday. So I guess you could say maybe I have now have a little bit more time to focus to do, focus on doing this. And I really do have to do it because uh, for the past uh, two and a half, three years, all, all I was really doing was caregiver. Listening to the prior message, I'm sorry I was so long-winded. So anyway, any advice that you could uh, render in my direction would most deeply appreciate it. You've already helped, you've already helped me immensely with your, with your free videos. Just fabulous stuff, and I've been referring people to you, and I'm going to keep on doing that. Um, so yeah, any advice you could render would be great. I do have rights to some erotic titles, and I've actually done covers on those, and I was planning to put those up um, on Amazon as well as doing like some other sites that I could sell from directly. Um, but I just, you know, my time was really tight. Like I said, my mother just passed, and like the past month has just been constant crisis mode. But now she's gone, so maybe I can uh, put more effort into that. Um, okay, thank you for listening. I hope to talk to you soon. You have a great day. Peace. Be safe. Bill, uh, first off, very sorry to hear about your parents. I've been through that. I know exactly how that feels. It's not a good place. With that, I suggest that you take some time off if you can, because that's a lot to go through. Now to your query, more than likely you're not going to get 
the AdSense money. So just let that go. Number two, pinup girls, public domain right books. This is the thing with copyright law. If someone thinks that they own that information and they file against it on YouTube, YouTube is an automated process. So what, one of the first things you should do is try to appeal it. If you can appeal it and it's squashed, more than likely they looked at it and said, we're not going to mess with it. The only way that you can get that stuff restored is to go to court. And I don't see it being worth that for $117. This is one of the reasons that I do not use pictures from the internet for my thumbnails. Uh, stuff from the internet, I pay for my pictures. And I'm going to tell you a quick story about music. There are many people who are saying that you can use the first 30 seconds of a song or something like that. Well, I went out and bought music, paid for it, paid for it two, three years ago, and now I'm getting soft copyright strikes. What that is, is if the video is monetized, you won't get the money. The copyright holder will get the money. What I think is happening is people are buying up all these songs and filing copyright claims because they know that a lot of people have used them. And a million pennies often adds up to hundreds of thousands of dollars. So there's some songs, and that's why I don't use popular songs. Or you can use the songs in the Apple iMovie screen, you know, the, that music, those tunes, you can use those no problem. But be careful because, like I said, there's soft copyright strikes. It's not a strike against the channel. Nothing's being pulled down. But... Fortunately, I stopped using music and other things on my videos before it got to be a problem. Like on my best videos, there's no music, there's no information from the internet, it's all my stuff. So you've got to go ahead and make your stuff because even if it's permissible now, doesn't mean it's going to be permissible in the future. For making money online, first of all, start off with where you're strong. Look at all your skill sets, what you know how to do. Forget what's trendy, forget what's shiny, forget what everyone else is doing. Look at what you can bring to the table that will actually make you some money. And that's going to take some time, that's going to take some exploration, that's going to take a little due diligence on your part. So once again, thanks for the call. I really appreciate it. Hey, Glendon, it's Robert from Maryland. Uh, long time fan. Uh, really grateful for everything you do. Love the channel. Keep up all the great work. Um, my question is, as someone who's in the field of content creation, um, what, uh, what sort of things did you do? Because I know you always talk about establishing habits and getting used to doing things, even though you might suck at them at first. Uh, what sort of tricks did you use to... I guess, kind of establish the good habits of kind of honing your craft when it came to writing and other content creation, and what kind of tricks did you use to kick the bad habits? Um, thanks again. Uh, have a good one. What's up, Robert from Maryland? Thanks for the call. Really appreciate it. Hold on a second. Come here. Really? Everyone wonders who's walking around. This is who's walking around. So if you hear clicking, this is who's doing it. All right. Okay, Robert from Maryland. This is the deal. With creating content, it's all about environment. One of the things that I've always done since, I've, since 2009, I've had a home office. So when I sit down, I can immediately go to work because I have a working environment that is conducive to me doing whatever. Currently, I have a home studio. I have my computers, my desk. Some people think going out and getting office furniture and a real office chair is overkill. Trust me, it goes a long way into helping your productivity. Uh, number two, eliminate distractions. Turn Facebook off. Turn your phone notifications off if you can. Devote an hour a day where you are unplugged from the internet. No Facebook, no YouTube, nothing. And for that hour, you're going to focus at the task at hand. If you can do two hours, even better. And if you could do three hours, you'll kill it. Because this is the thing. 
many people don't work. They want to work. They want to produce stuff. But this is what happens. They get at their desk. Then next thing you know, they're working for 15 minutes. And then, oh, here's the status of my friend Jody. Oh, well, look. Oh, my God. That's horrible. The indignation of what they're doing to those people. Next thing you know, an hour has gone by. So eliminate distractions and operate from a list. Forget winging it. Forget you got it at the top of your head. No, create a to-do list every day, preferably one at night, and a, a hot list of stuff that just comes up. Keep your main list here, then you have your hot list, and just one, two, three, knock out your items. As for writing, write every day. I don't care if it's five minutes a day. That will go a long way to increasing your productivity. So Robert from Maryland, thanks. I appreciate the call. And uh, thanks for watching the channel. Greetings, Glendon. Um, my name is Jasmine. I'm from Atlanta. I'm living in Atlanta, Georgia. And my question is, I would like to know, I have a real estate website, and I would like to know how to generate um, natural traffic towards the site um, and what's the best way to do that. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. What's up, Jasmine from L.A.? California, I, I kind of was like, where are you? But anyway, back to your question. You have a real estate website and you want to get traffic. This is the first question. This may be a little brutal. Why would someone go to your website? If I ask you that question and you hear it and you pause, problem number one. Problem number two, people go to real estate websites when they have a need. Sometimes people go to luxury real estate websites to look at, wow, it'd be nice to live in that house. It'd be wow, it'd be cool to have a house with a pool. So if you're going to do luxury real estate, get the best pictures, the best properties. What is your goal for this website? You didn't put that in there. I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know. Uh, I don't know where you're going with that because this is the thing. The why. Let's go back. Why would someone come to your channel? I mean, you're, 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 ah, why would someone come to your website? The reason would be X, what? Like when I was looking for another house, I was at Zillow every day. And the reason I was on Zillow and I signed up for alerts because I was looking for something. So if you don't have that kind of why, why are you doing a real estate website? So I could be off base because I said, I don't really know exactly what you're doing, but anywho, thanks for the call. I appreciate it. Hi, this is Chris Collins. I'm calling from St. Louis. I saw your um, video on 25 ways to making money without a job, and I was very impressed um, by your plain vanilla information that I think is really great. I don't necessarily need to make money, but I do not want to lose money, and that's what I've done um, in uh, making my book. So. I would like to do a lot more, maybe put on uh, some things on Udemy, and um, <clears throat> but I don't want to do it myself. I don't want to learn how to do all that stuff. I just want to create the content and videos and then uh, put it on Udemy. Do you got anybody that could help me do that? And uh, what else? So my website is www.reviver.net, R-E-V-I-V-O-R.net. I wrote a book on Amazon called Beyond Terminal, and... Um, so I think I have some stuff to share, and I want to get it out there, and I want to make some money on it, uh, but I don't want to do the work that it takes to get everything in there. So I thought maybe you'd have some contacts. Anyway, the bottom line here is I think it was great that you made the video. I think you gave a lot of people a lot of good ideas, and I think it's just information, and then they have to do something about it. Um, which, you know, the majority won't. But anyway, it's there. And I'm sure you'll find a lot of people following you for that. All right. I uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks. Bye. Hey, Chris. Thanks for the call. Uh, glad to hear that you made it. You know, you've got something that's really, really deep. Now, this is the thing with doing Udemy courses. Uh, I called Chris back because I already knew that this was going to be very much more so than a one-liner. There are many of you who want to automate or outsource your course creation. 
As someone who's been creating courses for six years, let me tell you why that is implausible for most people unless you already have an assistant or you already have a system and a team in place. You have a course, right? In the case of Chris, she has a book. So she's either got to sit down and talk with this person or team to put it together. And that's going to be a lot of conversations. Uh, average book takes anywhere from six to 15 hours to read. So your team's got to read the book then make notes, so we're at 20, we're at 30 hours. You see where I'm going? Then you got to put it together. Now, for the platform of Udemy, they don't make it easy to put courses up there, and this isn't a slam against Udemy. It's a great site. I didn't like their process because it didn't fit my mission, which is the reason that I tapped out and moved on to my own course, my own design, my own platform. So they want a certain level of uniformity, uh, your videos and stuff must have a certain audio level. And once again, these standards are great because they make the site uniform from start to finish. I didn't like them because I like to get down a little different. So you got that. But you're looking at 150 hours, 200 hours to do this. And let's just say if they were working for 10 bucks, that's two grand. And these kind of people who do this stuff are not working for 10 bucks. So it's going to be really expensive if you just pay someone to do it. Or it's going to be really expensive if you use your time to create it. My suggestion to you is to take an hour a day and do a little bit. Will it get done fast? No, but you won't kill yourself. You won't go crazy. You won't become overwhelmed. And eventually it will get done. Once again, thanks for the love hey, of the I channel. Just want, this is and, Chris uh, Collins. I just want to say for thanks call. for your quick call. Uh, you know, I just left a message this morning and this evening you're calling me back. So I really appreciate that, and I'm going to re-listen to your message several times. I think I get it, and uh, man, I wish I could talk to you so I could say, what do you want me to do for you? Whatever I could do for you, I certainly would. I'm in St. Louis. I don't know. But anyway, there you are, and uh, I wish you well, and blessings upon you and all who love you. Thanks. Bye. Hey, what's going on, Glendon, man? This is uh, Jerry, man. Last night, um, I got into the internet business about two years ago, man. One day, I just, I just decided about the internet business. Uh, I got a website, man, but it's, it's just a niche site, man. I started this like um, about October, September, October. Uh, but you can check it out. Uh, it's, it's Dog Obedience Training Headquarters, Dog Obedience Training HQ dot com. You can check it out, man. Um, I'll send you my email from there. Make sure that you know it's, it's my site. Um, or you can look it up. You should be able to look it up see if it's mine. But man, I'm trying to. I'm just, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to get into the internet thing, man. Um, I'm trying something to 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 just start something. But I need some kind of direction, man. I mean, I'm pretty good at driving traffic. I know how to drive traffic. Um, but, man, I just need your your insights, man. I love your videos, man. Uh, but if you can give me a call back, uh, I work at night, man. I got to go in at 10 and get off at about 6. So it's, it's a grind hustle, man, like you said, man. You got to do something. But, uh, man, appreciate your videos, man, inspiration. Um, uh, so if you could give me a call back. At nine three, probably gonna hit the bed here in a minute, man, to get some rest, get ready for this, this uh, this night overnight hustle, like you say that that hustle grind action. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Love your videos, dog. But yeah, keep up the good work, man. All right, take care. Jared, Jared, my dude, I really appreciate you. You take an action. Thanks for the call. You have solved one of the biggest problems that most people who have a website has, getting traffic. Your exact words, I have no problem getting traffic. 
That's 50%, 60%, shoot, sometimes 90% of the game. If you could get traffic, this is what you do. Number one, find something. Forget what everyone else said. Because some people are like, I don't care what I said, as long as it make money. That stuff is usually very short-lived. So find something that you really, really like. Not necessarily passionate about, but you really like if you're passionate, cool. And something you can do well and create a product or service and a website around that. Because you said the magic word. I know how to get traffic. I have people on this channel who are brilliant, who've got great services, who have great products, and they can't get traffic. And this is why. This is a problem I suffer. This is a problem Ramit Sethi suffers. This is a problem Gary Vaynerchuk suffers. Every I can go to my local grocery store right now, around the corner, and just say, hey, do you know who Ramit Sethi is? And ask 20 people, maybe two, maybe three, maybe more in this neighborhood and know. I can go to that same grocery store and like, hey, have you heard of Gary Vaynerchuk? So I'm going to get a lot of people like, I've never heard of him. I've never heard of him. So everybody has a discoverability problem. It's just a matter of degree. If you can get traffic, you can get discovered. If you can get discovered, you can get put on. Once again, thanks for the call and thanks for the love on the channel. Hi, Glendon. This is Shatora Mark. I texted you. Um, and and I've received your text back. Um, again, my name is Shator. Number is do have a Texas number. I'm from Texas. I'm currently in Atlanta, Georgia, right now. I'm an independent claims adjuster. Uh, I do make six figures. This is my full time, all the time, uh, which is part of the reason why I wanted to speak with you regarding strategy, because I work ten hours a day or, well, actually 11 hours a day, six days a week. I have kids that I'd like to spend time with. Um, I'm currently a Toastmaster and want to pursue my public speaking career and also make several different streams of income off of that, um, which is where my hiccup comes in because I have so many other things that I'm good at and so many other talents that I have that it's hard for me to try to bring down one. I do have a business life in progress um, it's life coaching uh, but again I want to push more of the public speaking side of it I've done everything from radio uh, makeup <laughs> I have my aesthetic license uh, I've kind of done everything across the board so um, I'd really like to talk to you and get a little more direction and see about getting on this money now <laughs> if again you can return my call 972 my name is Shakur. Thank you. Shakura, Shakura, Shakura. From Texas, now in the ATL. Woo, okay, let's start at the beginning. Number one, you got way too much going on. So you're going to have to get rid of most of that stuff. You already have a gig that gives you six figures. So you've got income coming in and you can take care of the fam. Your job now is, because you want to be Toastmaster, I'm going to tell you, I got a friend. I mentioned this name because some people know him. His name is John Lawson. He's here in Atlanta, and he wanted to do a speaking career. He has literally been around the world speaking at e-commerce events, and this has been his goal. It has taken him five years, five, five years to get where he wants to. Five. He's been on planes, in hotels, Sent for five years, and he just got put on by a speaker bureau late last year. So, you want to be a speaker? It's a long, hard road. Two, life coaching. Okay, why should anyone? Why would you be the coach? Uh, why should some, why should someone buy your life coaching services? That's the question. That's going to be the million dollar question in anybody's head that you talk to. So you got to figure that out. My suggestion to you is get rid of the life coaching. Get rid of the speaking, and let's go back to what you do. That's where the money is. Now, you're doing it as an independent claims adjuster, right? Why don't you start a firm that does what you do, repeat yourself, create a training program, and then outsource your services on a larger level? See, what you're doing as an individual, you can do as a boss.
And that's where your money is. Why? You already know how to do it. You already know the industry weaknesses. You are, you'll be operating from a position of strength and your learning curve would be like that. So that's what I think you should do. But, you know, if you want to talk and have me tell you that again, I'm going to charge you. Just letting you know. All right. So Shakira from Texas now to HTL. Thank you very much for the call. As you've uh, heard, there's someone that's trying to start a Udemy course. Starting a Udemy course is hard. It's really, really hard. And and she's looking to outsource. The issue with that is when you do a Udemy course, unless you're going to give the person the project and say, do what you want, use whatever voice, use whatever picture you want, then you have to pay them to do that. And we're talking dozens and dozens of hours. First, they must acquire or, re or acquaint themselves with the material. That's the first part. And that's going to be 10, 12, 15 hours right there. Then they've got to disassemble it, then assemble it back together in the course form. That's going to be time. Udemy isn't really designed for, unless you have a team, for the outsourcing model, in my opinion. I think that you're going to have an incredibly hard time finding someone to do it. And if you do, it's going to be very, very expensive. If you don't mind the expense, knock yourself out. But I think that if you just did a little bit a day, maybe 30 minutes, an hour a day for however long it takes, you'll eventually get it done and provide benefit to the people that you want to serve. You already know how to get traffic. That is hands down one of the biggest issues with making money online. You've got 70% of the recipe, the ingredients of the recipe, getting traffic. There are many people who have wonderful ideals, concepts, but they can't get any traffic. No one knows who they are. I suffer this problem and everyone else on the internet suffers this problem, which is being discovered and then being recognized for what you do. Ramit Sethi, even Gary Vaynerchuk has the same problem because you can go to parts of the world and it's like, who's Gary Vaynerchuk? And people are like, huh? I can go to the grocery store right now and ask 20 people and 20 people may not even know who he is. We all have that problem and he's someone that is very well known online. But once you start to get outside of being known online or even with a new category of product or service, it could be really tough for people to find you. So the fact that you can get traffic is amazing. Now, you need to find something that you want to sell or a product you want to serve. Now, many people will go say, take your traffic and go find a product to get affiliate commissions, do affiliate marketing. I don't know anything about affiliate marketing. It's not something I invest a lot of time in. It's not something I even do. But I would say, find something that you believe in yourself and it'll be easier to sell. Or create your own product. So I definitely think that would be the way to go for you. Welcome to the Hustlers Kung Fu Show. You've got a question? Call 404-558-811. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365. Leave your name. Uh, you can leave your number at the end and ask specific questions. And if your question is hot enough, I'll call you back. If it's something I feel that a lot of people have an issue with or need help with, I'll do a video. And thanks for watching and thanks for the call.